look, I am not here for your entertainment. I'm here to create art. I'm here for the bag. I'm here for the shmoney. I'm not here to go on a date with you. I'm not here to hear your sexual comments and, or anything like that. So just stop. Okay? Thanks. <laughs>since I made a talking video from the title I'm gonna be talking about modeling specifically freelance modeling because I am not a professional model I am not signed to an agency or anything like that I just freelance model so if you don't know what freelancing is it's basically working for yourself like you can be a freelance photographer freelance model freelance makeup artist freelance hairstylist you can basically freelance for anything so I came up with a list of about 30 things or so that I think newer models or people who want to get into modeling should know um, and this is just all from my own personal experience there's probably a ton of things that I don't even know still but yeah this is just what I came up with so first thing is safety precautions so a lot of the times photographers will hit me up in my DMs and ask me to shoot and sometimes it'll just be me and the photographer sometimes it'll be me photographer and a stylist it just really depends on who wants to join in on the project and so it's like people usually that I've never met sometimes I don't even know what they look like because they only have pictures of models on their Instagram page so it can be a little bit dangerous it can be sketchy because I'm meeting up with complete strangers. You always want to share your location with at least one person. That could be your best friend, that could be your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, your cousin, because you never know who this person is, you know what I mean? You definitely want to check your resource. This photographer who's hitting you up, look through their Instagram page, click on their Instagram. If they don't have that many likes, if it's just like a bunch of hashtags and it just seems kind of sketchy, then maybe rethink on working with them. If they have their models tagged, click on their pages see if they've posted that picture as well and see if they tag the same photographer because sometimes photographers like to steal other people's work and claim it as their own and I personally had this happen to me he was a photographer but some of the pictures on his page weren't his I think I can make that like a, a completely separate story time but um yeah so you never know who you're meeting up with you just want to check your resources if you have an iPhone there's an option to share your location you just set it out to as many people as you want even maybe on social media you know depending on what platform you use the most for me it's Instagram use the geotag filters on snapchat then you can save that picture upload it to your Instagram story check in on Facebook I mean you don't have to do the social media stuff but at least share your location whoever you're setting your location to make sure you give them the photographers Instagram at if they have a Facebook their phone number maybe even a picture of them like you can ask the photographer hey I know this sounds kind of weird, but I feel weird meeting up with someone that I don't know what they look like So are you able to send me a picture of you just so I know who I'm supposed to be looking out for if you want to be even more cautious Once you get to the location you can just take like a little snap or Instagram story of Like oh like shooting with this person today and tag them that way if you ever do go missing or anything like that You have evidence and proof that this was the last person you were seen with and you know they gonna be the number one suspect <sighs> yeah, I'm making it sound a lot worse than it usually is but you know I gotta prepare you for the worst so you can just be super cautious and it's it's always better to be cautious than than to be super trusting and and not really know your surroundings and yeah I don't know if that makes sense whoever you're sharing your location to make sure it's someone who's super reliable maybe someone who's always next to their phone always checking their text messages and social media but also has a car because you want someone who's gonna see your text or your call if it's an emergency and be able to go and pick you up if you need them to but I would try to take your own car if you have one I wouldn't really recommend ubering or taking lyft unless it's with other people or if you know other people are going to be there because if something does go down you're gonna want a quick escape and have on your own car would just be super convenient because then you could just you know drive away if you uber there or if you have your friend drop you off or something you're gonna have to wait to have your friend pick you up or have the uber pick you up and that's just gonna take too long depending on the situation you might just want to get out of there immediately so yeah take your own car 
So aside from sharing all the information with someone that you trust and is very reliable, I would consider even maybe bringing a friend along with your shoots, especially if you're just starting out and you're not comfortable going to these shoots alone because sketchy stuff does happen um and if the photographer is very weirded out by that i would really reconsider working with this person because i really don't understand why it would be a problem for you to bring your friend along the shoot especially if, if it's like you're just starting out and you don't really know this photographer like you've never met them before and if anything bringing a friend along can be really helpful because they can point out if you know you need to fix your hair or if you have a tag sticking out of your clothes or anything like that i know sometimes they don't like you bringing along people if you're shooting at a studio because studios you have to pay for and they can get pretty expensive and you're limited on time and shoots go very very quickly especially if you have more than one outfit maybe there's a makeup artist there and they have to start your makeup when you get there so maybe you only have like an hour to shoot or something like that depending on the situation but if there's going to be other people at the studio then you shouldn't really have anything to worry about anyway because there will be other witnesses if it's at a house or airbnb I I would definitely bring someone just because I don't know I feel like houses and Airbnbs can be a little bit more sketchier oh and hotels too hotels especially I feel like are just like really sketchy unless you already know the photographer unless you already know this person for a good amount of time and you trust them then you know that's fine but if you don't know who this person is you've never met them then I would bring someone along just because it's, it's safer and they're less likely to try anything if someone else is there and if you can I would have your first couple of shoots until you get comfortable set outside in a public location just so there are multiple witnesses if this photographer does try to do something which he probably wouldn't if it's in public another important thing to know is if you are under the age of 18 make sure the photographer is getting permission from your parents for you to be able to participate in this shoot depending on what the pictures are say if it's like an implied or a nude shoot most parents wouldn't really be okay with those photos being published online and unless you sign a model release form i believe i'm not quite sure i need to do more research on this but you should also do research on it um the person who actually is taking the picture like it doesn't even matter if this camera is theirs whoever's clicking the camera owns the photos so if you are doing a, a nude or implied shoot and you end up not liking the photos they technically own your photos and can publish it wherever they want so make sure you are not doing anything this goes into my next point make sure you're not doing anything that you're not comfortable with because once they're taken uh, you, you do not own these photos unless you sign some type of agreement or contract or something so with that being said make sure you are discussing the terms of this shoot with the photographer and your parents if you're under 18 but if you're over 18 make sure you're having a full-on discussion with the photographer about what's the location what's the hair and makeup and clothes gonna look like what kind of modeling is it gonna be is it gonna be street is it gonna be chic is it gonna be nude is it gonna be you know it could be a ton of different things is it gonna be studio And make sure you are making it clear to the photographer what you're comfortable and what you're not comfortable doing because once you get there sometimes photographers like to be a little bit pushy if it's something where it's like very sexy kind of like what i'm wearing right now like i have a little bralette and then i have like a see-through ruffled shirt if i were to go on the shoot and maybe the photographer will be like oh maybe can you just like take off the top layer because i want it to be like a more sexier shoe if i'm comfortable with it i'll be like okay like i don't mind that um but if you're not comfortable with it definitely say no and that you're not comfortable with doing that and that was not what was agreed on when we spoke over instagram or facebook or whatever platform that you guys were speaking on if if a photographer is pressuring you to do something you definitely want to get out of there if they ask you the first time nicely just to get you know whatever vision that the photographer is thinking of he or she says oh would you mind taking off the top layer if you don't want to you don't have to it's just a suggestion to make my vision come true or whatever that's a nice way to ask because 
they're just they're asking you for your permission would you be okay with it if not it's cool but if a photographer asks you in like a rude kind of pressuring way like do you mind like can you just take off like your top layer and and then you say no and they're like oh, come on it's for the art or come on it's for the photo it's gonna be a really really good picture say say you fall for this okay so you're like okay fine you feel kind of uncomfortable but like you're kind of willing to do it and then they go a step further and they're like maybe try like taking off your bra too this is where it starts getting a little bit like whoa they're like come on each time i take something off you want to be like oh take this off take this off too that's not okay I mean, unless you're comfortable with it, but if you're not, that's totally not okay to ask and keep asking if you've already said no. So you need to really be, I don't know, brave enough to tell them, I already said no, you know, let's keep doing the shoe and let's st stay professional. I only want to do it in this way, and if you keep pressuring me, I'm going to leave and never work with you again and expose your ass on my social media. Because people like that, honestly, should not be able to work with models if they're going to, like, be super manipulative and pressuring them to do stuff that they don't want to do which has personally happened to me and this is what I was talking about earlier about um I forget what I was talking about but what I said about making a story time about and I know some models want to push themselves to do certain things or model in a certain way so that they can become real models but honestly don't do it like really don't do anything you're not comfortable with don't do something that's going to risk your life or your health just so you can become a real model because honestly there's so many different modeling opportunities you don't have to do a bunch of different things just so you're considered a real model so I'm telling this in no particular order because I kind of just wrote all them down when I had the idea so some of them might relate to other points that I've made but this one goes into modeling when you're inside a studio Airbnb hotel or a house make sure you know where all the exits are oh and I also didn't mention bring a weapon like this sounds so bad i'm making it i like i don't mean to scare you guys i don't want to make it seem like you have to be hyper aware every time you go on a shoe or anything like that because i'm definitely not like usually it's pretty chill and usually nothing bad happens but these things do happen so i'm just trying to you know caution and warn you bring a pepper spray bring a pocket knife bring a shank you know whatever suits you and definitely don't use it Unless it's self-defense, okay? Because we're not trying to get sued or arrested or anything like that in here. We're just trying to model, you know. By the way, about the about the photographer, if he keeps asking you to do something inappropriate. Look, I am not here for your entertainment. I'm here to create art. I'm here for the bag. I'm here for the shmoney. I'm not here to go on a date with you. I'm not here to hear your sexual comments and, or anything like that. So just stop okay thanks and if they're hitting on you so easily like think about how many other models they've done this with like think of how many other models they've hit on it makes me think like do you just hit on every single model that you work with because all the models on your page are gorgeous so tfp and page shoots TFP is trade for prints. TFP is so difficult because I've been modeling for two, two to three years on and off, more so recently. And I've been doing a lot of TFP shoots because it's, it's hard for me to turn down photographers because there's a lot of great ones out there. And I just like creating content. I like creating art. And I just like fashion and dressing up and doing my makeup and getting all did up. But there comes a point where you have to start charging photographers, you know, depending on if you have enough experience. If you have a good amount of people hitting you up to work, there, there comes a point where you have to start turning down photographers unless they want to pay you because your time is very valuable for me for instance i'm starting to charge photographers to shoot because i just really don't have the time to be shooting for free anymore before i had a lot of time when i was just starting out and i also felt like i didn't have enough experience to be charging photographers and i didn't really have a vision for what i wanted my photos to look like that's the thing too is like don't just shoot just to shoot make sure you are having like a vision in mind of how you want your photos to turn out you know this includes everything really like location hair and makeup fashion 
aesthetic like how the photos are going to be edited what angle you want it to be taken from what kind of vibe do you want the photo to give off and i know not everyone really thinks like that i know even some photographers especially new photographers too will just shoot just to shoot and that can that can be the case a lot of the times too when it comes to money like a lot of the times like photographers don't really care about the art anymore they just care about the money like oh if you're not going to pay me i'm not going to work with you and some models are like that as well you know they don't really care they're just like i just want the money and that's it but for me i'm such a creative person that i like to do it for the art and if i can get paid for it too great that's a plus but yeah definitely don't work with people who you feel like are not on the same level as you and this goes for experience wise and also creativity wise it doesn't really matter exactly how long it matters on your experience level i don't know if that makes sense <laughs> i really don't know if that makes sense for instance it doesn't really matter how long you've been modeling it doesn't really matter how long this photographer has been doing photography as long as you feel like you know your craft and you know your creativity some people it comes more naturally to and some people it doesn't what i'm saying is don't turn someone down just because they have been doing something less amount of time than you have but at the same time definitely work with people who are at the same creativity level as you because there could be photographers who have been doing photography for five years and i've been modeling for two to three years so they have more photography experience than i have modeling experience but i don't like their aesthetic or i like how they shoot pictures i just don't like how they edit the pictures and that's definitely happened to me a lot of the times where i'll see someone's work love it i shoot with them but they give me the photos back and they edited for some reason specifically my photos not how they edited the rest of their photos that's on their page so this comes into having a discussion like i said earlier about everything with the photographer beforehand about how many photos you're going to get back how the photographer is going to edit if you're able to get unedited photos back, if you're going to be able to choose which photos they edit, stuff like that because I know it can be kind of like a hassle and everything. If you don't necessarily know what specific photo you're going to back or they give it back to you and it's a picture that you don't really like of yourself. Like a couple times for me that's happened where I've had to talk to the photographers about editing my photos a specific way and I really don't understand when photographers get butthurt about it. I mean I know it takes a long time and I appreciate that like I really really do because I know how long it takes to do all that shit. I don't understand when they get butthurt when you don't specifically like that edit because everyone has different aesthetics, right? Sometimes I don't understand why they don't give unedited photos because it's your face. <laughs> And they asked you to shoot, so it's like you should be able to pick what photos you want them to edit for you or if you wanted to edit in a certain way. Because they can edit it however they want and post it on their page, but it'd be also nice if they could give you the unedited photos or edit in another way that you like so that you can post it and fit the aesthetic to your page. And I think a lot of photographers don't understand that, but I, I do want to make a completely separate video for photographers. Paid shoots. If you're going to do a paid shoot, if you're in high demand, obviously you can like bump up your rates. If you're not really that high in demand, then you can do whatever you feel like you deserve or what's whatever's worth your time. And like for me, for instance, if it's a really, really good photographer, I will usually just shoot with them for free because if I were to ask a really good photographer, I feel like they would charge my ass. So I feel like if they ask me and they have a really good portfolio and pictures and everything, then usually I will just shoot with them for free because I want to create content as well. But if it's someone work who I don't really like <laughs> that sounds so mean but if it's someone's work who I don't really like or if it's someone who is kind of still figuring out what their style and aesthetic is or if they're a new photographer I will charge them because I already have more experience than them and I feel like I kind of already went through that stage where I did a lot of TFP and now it's kind of like their turn to do TFP does that make sense if they can't pay at my rate I will try to work something out with them if they can't pay at all um, it really depends. Sometimes if I'm just in the mood to create something or if I see a lot of potential in them, I'll just be like, hey, maybe you can just pay for my gas or maybe you can just pay for my food. Or if it's for a brand, you could just be like, oh, maybe you can just give me like a couple of free clothes in, in exchange for me modeling for you. 
or if they can't offer anything at all and you really don't feel like it's worth your time then I would just completely like just not do it if they're not gonna pay you because it's a waste of your time because you already have that experience so make sure you are asking for a deposit because a lot of people not just photographers but I'm saying models too and other artists and just people in LA in general but you know you don't have to be living in LA to model obviously but I'm just saying people in general like to flake like that's like people's favorite hobby is flaking asking for a deposit will definitely prevent that from happening more because they've already given you money so they they don't want to lose out on their money so they're more likely to actually show up and this is a non non refundable or is that what it's called? Non-refundable deposit. So if they flake, then you get to keep that deposit. Um, you can still have a written agreement or contract even if it's not paid because it's still your art. Video shoots. Um, recently I've been doing a couple video shoots and I will definitely not do it if it's not paid because that's a lot of time out from my day especially if it's for like a music video or something like that they definitely have a budget so if it's for a video shoot and they don't want to pay you then don't do it unless unless you're bored or unless you're just willing to do it because you want to do it for fun or because you want the exposure it's up to you so if they're paying me i will ask for a deposit and when i arrive at the location i will ask for the other half or the remaining balance of what they're gonna pay me before I even start shooting just so I know that I'm gonna get paid because sometimes photographers don't like to pay you at the end they'll be like oh yeah like I'm definitely gonna pay you I just have to like you know wait a couple days until payday or whatever or I'm gonna pay you later today when I have time like no you want to make sure you have that money either in your hands or in your bank in your Venmo cash app whatever before you even start shooting because I know photographers be sketchy like that if they want to pay you the remaining balance after you shot make sure you're keeping track of time because if they go over the time that they said you're gonna be there then you need to be asking them for more money because you agreed on this much money per hour or this much total for this amount of time so if they go over that they need to pay you for your time if they give you cash make sure you are checking the money Make sure it's a real $50 bill, a $100 bill, however much they're giving you. Make sure it's real before you leave because if it's not, then we're going to have an issue. Don't be afraid to put your input into the shoot because I feel like a lot of photographers don't think models want to put their creative input into it and some people get offended by this some photographers get offended i don't know why like they're just like oh i didn't ask you for your opinion or your advice or your input so you're just here to model like um no i'm actually in the photo i want the photo to look a certain way i want it to be edited a certain way i want it from this angle i want this certain light you know what i mean like i feel like photographers don't think that we want to put our creative aspect into it but we do and honestly i like when other people give their input into it because sometimes i don't see things that other people may see and sometimes the photographer doesn't see things that i see or other people see so it's always good more eyes the better okay so these are just kind of like some smaller tips or whatever bring snacks and water because you never know how long you're going to be on set depending on what you're doing you know what i mean like some shoots last all day some other shoots last like literally an hour sometimes this is discussed and sometimes it isn't like sometimes people have a full free day and don't really care on how long it's gonna take other people are very you know limited with their time so you have to have that discussion beforehand bring a phone charger bring a USB because um, with TFP it can be really annoying too because sometimes you just never even end up getting the photos from the photographer so having a USB on site you could just be like hey can I just put some of these photos into my computer and my USB right now that way I know I have them and if they don't want to give you unedited photos make sure you are writing like some type of agreement or contract so that you will be able to get these photos back bring different options for clothes shoes wigs makeup jewelry hairspray gel bobby pins flowers different props if you want to change up your outfit a little bit it's always good to have options with that being said keep your options open what i this is kind of what i said earlier but don't turn down 
everyone who can't afford to pay. You can make great connections and create dope art and you can grow together. If you're a new model and it's a new photographer, you guys can grow together and grow your creativity and like just experiment with different things. Maybe one day you need a photographer and they'll be there for you because you were there for them when they needed a model. Never really shut down an opportunity completely either. Like if someone can't pay you at the moment, just be like, okay, well, you know, just hit me up whenever you do have a budget and we can work together on something or maybe I'll hit you up when I need a photographer one day or if I have a little bit more free time and I'm financially stable to be able to work on collaborative projects yeah, you know just be nice about it you don't have to be like oh you're not gonna pay me then no I'm not gonna model for you like keep like an open-ended conversation with them if that makes sense those are all the tips I have for you today. Um, if you have any other tips, tricks, advice, or any other suggestions for models, new models, freelance models, or people who want to get into an agency, because I really don't know much about modeling agencies or runways or anything like that, then go ahead and put it in the comments below. You know, help a sister out, help a brother out, help out everyone who's trying to be a model. If you did like this video and learned something, please give it a thumbs up. That would really help me out a lot and I would really appreciate it. It just helps get my video to the top of the search page when you're searching up stuff about modeling. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit your bell notification button to be notified when I post new videos because I have like a lot of content coming out. I always have so much to say and I'm always doing like random stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you if you got to the end of this video. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!